The main reference used in coming up with this presentation is the book of Walpole, Myers and Myers entitled Probability and Statistics for Engineers and Scientists, the sixth edition. In this video, I'll explain the covariance of two continuous random variables. Covariance of two random variables, X and Y, can be computed using this formula. Sigma XY is the standard notation for covariance. Now, covariance of X and Y is equal to the expected value of these two products. First, X minus min of X times the second quantity, Y minus min of Y. The second equation is the computational formula for covariance. Sigma of XY is equal to the expected value of X times Y minus min of X times min of Y. If X and Y are both continuous random variables, the formula for covariance is given by this equation. Sigma XY is equal to the double integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of these products. The first quantity, x minus min of x, times the second quantity, y minus min of y, times the corresponding joint density, f of xy, dx, dy. Let's have this example. The fraction x of male runners and the fraction y of female runners who compete in marathon races is described by the joint density function, f of xy is equal to 8xy, if x would take values from 0 to 1 and y would take values from 0 to x and f of xy is equal to 0 elsewhere. Here we need to find the covariance of x and y. In the solution, we'll be using this computational formula. First, we compute the expected value of xy, then we'll compute the expected values of x and y. For the expected value of x times y, this is again equal to the double integral from 0 to 1, that's for the range of y, then from y to 1, that's for the range of x, of x times y times 8xy. This says in turn will become the double integral from 0 to 1, the range of y, and from y to 1, the range of x of 8x squared, y squared. Take note, this 8xy here is the probability density function. While xy, of course, this is now uh, the product x times y. Which in turn, when simplified, it is equal to 4 over 9. Meaning to say, this is now the expected value of x y. For the means of x and y, we'll be using this marginal uh, distributions of the two random variables. That is, the mean of x is equal to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x times the corresponding marginal density g of x dx. Also, for the mean of y, this is equal to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of y times its corresponding marginal density, h of y dy. So, we need to derive first the marginal densities, g of x and h of y, for us to be able to determine the expected value of x and the expected value of y. For the marginal distribution of x, we know that g of x is equal to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of the joint probability density f of xy dy. Note that the joint probability density is given as 8xy and the range of y would be from 0 to x. Simplifying further and evaluating at y equals 0 and y equals x, the marginal density will now become g of x is equal to 4x cubed for the values of x from 0 to 1. 
Similarly, for the marginal distribution of y, we know that h of y is equal to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of the joint density f of x, y, dx. Again, the range for x would be from 0 to 1, and h of x, y here is again the probability density, that joint density function, h of x, y. Which in turn, when simplified and evaluated at x equals 0 and at x equals 1, we'll have this marginal density of uh, the random variable y denoted by h of y, which is 4y times 1 minus y squared for values of y from 0 to 1. We can now calculate the expected value of x, which is the mean of x, which is now equal to the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x times its corresponding marginal density g of x dx. Note that x would take values from 0 to 1. x cubed, again, is the density, to, which when simplified, it will now become the integral from 0 to 1 of x raised to 4 dx. After evaluation, you'll find out that the mean of x, which is, of course, the expected value of x, is equal, is equal to 4 fifths. In the same manner, we now calculate the expected value of y, which is, of course, the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of y times its corresponding density, h of y dy. Note that earlier we derived the density function for the random variable y as 4y times the quantity 1 minus y squared. Hence, the, this equation now becomes the integral from 0 to 1 of y times its corresponding density, dy. Again, note that the variable y would take possible values from 0 to 1 only. After simplification and evaluating at y equals 0 and at y equals 1, we'll get the expected value of y, which is actually the mean of y, to be equal to 8 over 15. And finally, we can now compute the covariance of x and y using the computational formula. Sigma xy is now equal to the expected value of x times y minus mu of x times mu of y. Earlier, we were able to get the expected value of xy to be 4 over 9, mean of x to be 4 over 5, and mean of y to be 8 over 15. Simplifying further, sigma xy will now become 4 over 225. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching.